And for those of you, let's see if I can do manage this. And a quibble. He'll also be joining me. Quibble. <laughs> Hello and welcome today. Um, it's Christmas and I'm trying to do one video a day of just little stuff and work up maybe to bigger stuff. I've just had so much going on and I just don't have all the spoons for it. But today I thought I um, would just swatch some Gambai um, and Kuratake watercolors. Um, so I mentioned in a previous video that I was taking a class from Bryce Co through class 101. <clears throat> I'm not affiliated at all. I'm not being sponsored or anything. It's, you know, with any of this, but I took it mostly for the pen drawing and but, you know, watercolors were included and I've never been a fan of watercolors until I tried these <laughs> and then suddenly I really love them again. I have a little set of Koi watercolors. These are the only ones that I actually liked and actually have been using. Um, but I've had these a very long time. This is how long it takes me to use watercolor. <laughs> so then I started using these and I really love them and oh my gosh. So um, this is the set that came with the class. Uh, just that you can see they're kind of hairy and gooey. But you can see which colors I haven't used very much because the class is mostly concerned with red, yellow, and blue. Um, but I really like these. I really, really do. And so for Christmas, um, I got the big set of, I think, 48 colors. Oh, like, but swatching these is really nice because the back of the box lets you swatch the colors yourself. So that's kind of cool. Um, and so now I have a lot of duplicates, but I won't run out for a while. This set, which just came, well, didn't just came, but came very recently. And a lot of colors to swatch. Um, it also comes with an extra because there's not enough room on here for all the colors. Um, and they probably could have made room, I guess. But they pasted this one in, and then you have another one. For everything. Well, no, wait, this is a second color chart. Oh, hey! It is, it's a second color chart. So you now you have two, and you can have one that you put. I might stick this in my little um, book I have for doing swatches. So let's pull off the thing. My favorite thing about these is that you can just take out the little pans and just put them places there. You know, they have the number on the back, so you know where they go. This one's nice. Um, so there's no spacers in this one, but the color name is right there. Um, on the smaller set, and there's a middle set, too. Um, hold on. Yeah, there's another set that's a bit smaller than this that doesn't have, like, some of the pinks and golds and stuff like that. Um, pinks and golds. <clears throat> so I think it's 36. So, and this is the for, you can see how well I'm prepared. Four, eight, 12, 16, 24. Set. So it's 24 and 36 and then 48. But yeah, so, but these ones, um, they just have the numbers on the dividers here. And the color names are only on the swatching section. So, but it's still pretty easy to put them back where they go so you know where. And obviously, because this has so many colors, I'm going to try to use up the 24 first before I get to any of the other ones, but we're going to watch them all. So let's see. I'm going to save this one for later. <clears throat> and so Rose Matter. 
I love <laughs> the rose matter colors. Um, these just, I was so impressed with these. So I'm really excited to try the new colors and the different types and see what they have. Um, but yeah, let me get started. So I got my... This one's a really fine one. I don't want to use this one. My water brush. Water brushes are always <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> I love them so much. I love that they came out, and so I have a lot of them. Um, but where did I put the other ones that I filled up? These filled up? No. Let's see. I want to use this one, I think. first watching. This is my, um, pretty big one. It also came with the class. I got a set of them for the class, but I have a ton of different shapes and stuff like that. So I'm going to go put water in this because why water and have a paper towel so I can clean stuff off and I'll be right back.
let that dry a moment. I'm not going to tilt it like I did my other one. So this one, I tilted it too soon and we ran into the yellow. <laughs> so, huh. But kind of see those bottom colors there. So it's a good range of colors, I think. And I'm excited to start using them. Um, for projects and stuff. And I still really suck using them and everything, but yeah, it's a, it's a good set, I think. So, like I said, I'm pretty excited. I managed to get paint all over my fingers. When did I dip my finger into the red there? <laughs> Probably trying to get them out. Um, let's see how I was going to look. Yeah, 48. Definitely 48 colors here, so. Let's see, they don't all fit in there. But this will last me a good long time and everything, and so we can kind of see how everything is drying up here. Um, oh, I love that blue-gray deep. So, yeah. Nifty, huh? Cool. So I hope you enjoyed this. It was just me, you know, swatching out. And I'll probably do more of these because, like I said, I find it very relaxing to just swatch out the colors. So I will talk to you later. Thank you so much and bless.